guys, this is Brilliant Botany episode 9, and today I'm going to be talking about the Svalbard Seed Vault. Originally, I was going to do another 5 botany facts video since the other one was so popular, but I realized that I could talk about how kick-ass the vault is for an entire video rather than as just one of 5 points. The Svalbard Seed Vault is an underground facility built into a mountain in Norway, and it looks like something out of a science fiction movie. This is the entrance to the vault, which houses a staggering 700,000 agricultural seed samples from around the world. The samples are stored in aisle upon aisle of boxes, and the facility can hold up to 4.5 million samples. The samples are stored at a chill negative 18 degrees Celsius, and they're cooled with the help of the tundra's permafrost. The facility is built into a mountain just over 800 miles south of the North Pole, meaning that it could survive many global disasters, and even if power is lost, the samples will remain frozen. The Svalbard Seed Vault was funded by the Norwegian government after they were approached by the Global Crop Diversity Trust with the project proposal. It cost about 9 million US dollars to build and has relatively low operating costs. Regardless, it's a small price to pay for the security it provides. And that's the ultimate purpose of the Seed Vault, security. The Svalbard Seed Vault, along with gene banks across the globe, preserve crop diversity by saving millions of samples of crop seeds. The samples in Svalbard are actually duplicates of samples from other gene banks. Participating gene banks send backup copies of their seed samples to Svalbard for safekeeping. Even frozen, however, seeds don't last forever. Some seeds can remain viable for up to 200,000 years, but some with higher oil contents can last less than a century. Because of this, seeds need to be regenerated by growing out samples and harvesting new seeds. This is done by the gene banks that own the samples and the replacements are sent to Svalbard. Samples like this are vital for our future, whether they're in Svalbard or another gene bank. These seed samples can be used to breed new crop varieties such as hardier ones or more drought resistant ones that are particularly important in the face of a changing climate. Even if samples are lost or damaged in one of the world's gene banks, Svalbard exists as a safe backup of our crop diversity for the future. Future. I have definitely added visiting the Svalbard Seed Vault to my bucket list since I can only imagine how amazing it would be to stand in the world's largest collection of biodiversity. While we're here, here are some more pictures of the vault. This, of course, is the entrance to the vault with a bonus polar bear ice sculpture. This is the view from the roof of the vault's entrance, and this is the badass tunnel that leads from the vault's entrance to the interior of the building. If you'd like to learn more about the Svalbard Seed Vault, you can go to the Global Crop Diversity Trust website at www.croptrust.org. If you'd like to see the rest of the Brilliant Botany YouTube series, you can go to youtube.com slash brilliantbotany, or check out www.brilliantbotany.com for daily botanical content. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All of the pictures in this video are from the Global Crop Diversity Trust Flickr, which the Trust has been kind enough to make available. The link to that is in the description.